stampers and crafters my name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our Friday online class where today we're going to be creating a set of three amazing cards using the Stampin Up Night in Bethlehem bundle that is the stamp set and the die together so I'm really excited we're actually going to be doing a couple techniques a reversible card okay I made up that name myself <laughs> I don't know maybe that applies to other things too but this one is a really cool card it's actually a set of cards that I think you're going to love and and we're going to do the eclipse technique, which is awesome. I think I, I love it. I love it. And it's super easy and fun. And they're great cards. And hopefully you guys have um, you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and got up really early today doing your Black Friday shopping. So now you're ready to sit down, kick back, relax, and do some stamping. Um, so a uh, couple of things. Let's start with giveaways. So since we are live... Um, I always have some giveaways for you guys and um, here's what I've got today today I actually cleaned out the vault so um, I have some some extra bonus stuff here some good stuff the die that we're going to be using the stamp set and dies that we're going to be using today I'm giving away two of these free all you need to do is leave a comment to be entered one I'll be doing live at the end of this episode right here on Facebook I'm going to drive the winner you're going to get the night in Bethlehem stamp set and dies and I'll open that up and show it to you in a second the second one is our afterlife. So if you're if you're still out Black Friday shopping or you're sleeping because you got up at two in the morning and missed the, and missed the live, you can still participate and and enter to win the afterlife. Um, and that is going to be on December eighth. So you have from now until December eighth to leave a comment and be entered into the afterlife. Now the afterlife, the re, if you're watching the replay or if you didn't win a live, um, you can enter a second time by sharing this video. And if you share this video and type the word shared, S-H-A-R-D, in the comments, because I do search um, in Excel on that word, um, type that word into the comments, you will be entered twice into the uh, replay after live drawing for the bundle. It's an amazing bundle. I've also got a bunch of ideas to show you. Don't let me forget at the end of this episode, because they're awesome. Excuse me. So, <coughs> along with the live, excuse me, well, let me just get a drink real quick before I lose my voice on you. We're going to a clapping bit. Sorry about that. Um, along with the Night in Bethlehem bundle, uh, these are all unclaimed prizes. So the, you have two weeks to claim your prize. You can claim it simply by clicking on the link in this video's description. And um, if you don't, then I bring them back into another video and give them away to somebody else. So <laughs> you want to make sure that you go ahead and do that really fast at the end of this episode if you win. Um, Seasons of Whimsy stamp set, which is a hostess stamp set. In the big catalog giving that away free merry patterns very hard to get in fact this one's no longer available it was only available for two months if you had either a 300 dollars order or if you had been a workshop hostess or my vip club hostess um during those two months so this is um, now extremely hard to get i'm giving one away this is an unclaimed prize from last month and i'm also giving away these mini bows so um, you can actually, you can win one of these four prizes. So this is a great, great live <laughs> live giveaway. And then if you didn't win one of the lives or you missed the live and you're watching a replay, you can still leave a comment to enter to win the after live drawing. So that is um, what I have here. I hope you guys had a wonderful um, Thanksgiving. I had an awesome one. My, my older son, shown here with the beard, he's 19. He just got home from college for the week. Um, and I'm just so happy to have him home. And it was just so wonderful to be able to have both of my kids together in the same place at the same time, which almost never happens nowadays. So we got to have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we took our traditional um, family selfie. <laughs> I always love that one. So yeah, even my Nana gets in on it and my little, my cousin's little son, my kids and my, my mom, we had just have a lot of fun there with that one. And um, a lot of you probably experienced this last night. Um, here in New England, we had the most amazing sunset it was absolutely gorgeous and um, I had gone to a friend's later after our family and I was out in Worcester Massachusetts I took this picture in Worcester of the sky it was just so incredibly gorgeous absolutely awesome so hopefully some of you if you didn't get to experience it last night here's a little <laughs> here's a little picture of, of what it looked like it was just awesome just a, a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope you all had one too and I hope you're having a great weekend um, now it's I mean it's crafting I know my mom and my cousin are sitting down to craft today so they're probably on here live <laughs> I'm sure I'll get comments because they want to win something 
Um, so we are going to start stamping um, now that we've gotten all that out of the way. But first, one big uh, announcement. Uh, there's a huge sale happening right now. Um, Stampin' Up! has a huge sale called the Online Extravaganza. It's like Black Friday all week. Um, the, the, the stuff on sale is while supplies last, but it also ends on, on Sunday. So if it hasn't sold out before Sunday, it'll be done on Sunday. The sale is done on Sunday. So make sure you get over to my online store. You can click on the link in this video's description. Get everything you want from that sale um, now. And then when that's over Monday, there's going to be a 24-hour sale happening um they have not released the details of that yet but as soon as they do i'll be posting them on facebook and posting them on my blog so be sure to stay tuned to both places for um that information uh but again the big online extravaganza sale ends sunday so get get what you want now in case it sells out before then okay let's start some stamping so i'm just going to move our little prizes out of the way and bring in what we got going on don't forget, leave a comment. I'm giving away these four. These four are live, live drawings right here at the end of this episode. Okay, so here's what we are going to be making today. I love these. So these two, um, this one um, was designed by my, my designer, Veronica Zala. She was amazing. And then I kind of made what I like to call a reversible card out of it, which is kind of cool. I'm going to show you how to make these two. And then to complete the set, this is what's called um, the Eclipse Technique. Um, and this idea came to me from, uh, and I hope I'm going to say your last name right, Dolores Schlabach. And um, I got this as a swap card at OnStage a few weeks ago when I was in Salt Lake City. Dolores made this and it was absolutely beautiful. So I kind of adapted it so it would, it would match our set here. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's so quick and easy. And I know a lot of you, now that Thanksgiving is over, all of a sudden it just hit us all that, oh my gosh, <laughs> Christmas is coming. And along with that means Christmas cards, holiday cards. And uh, this is just a great, sometimes Sometimes you want funny cards, sometimes you want fun cards, sometimes there's, there's all different, um, you know, like styles. But this particular one, sometimes you just want the reason for the season. And this one is just a beautiful set for that. Now, um, before I get started, I always like to tell you about this in case you're new or in case you forget about it. On my blog at the link in this video's description is a free PDF. On this PDF, I have photos of the cards. I have all the measurements for everything that I'm about to show you. Um, and also a link back to the resource page that has all the supply lists, that has the free PDF, and it's going to have this video as soon as uh, we finish making it. <laughs> I love the lives because you, you can actually be a part of the video while we're making it. And um, so you can get this free there. It's got a full supply list on it. And again, these are close-ups of the cards that we're making today. So some of you have probably already downloaded this and you're following along. But if you haven't, click on the link in the description and you can get this there. There's also a little uh, QR code here that brings zaps you back to this page with the video and the, the PDF and the resources. In case you have a smartphone and want to zap it or you can type in the URL. So a couple of quick ways, easy ways to get there. Okay. We're going to start stamping. Um, I'm going to start with the reversible cards. And we're kind of we're going to make these two together because they kind of go together. So I'm going to start with um, one sheet. Both of these cards have a Whisper White cardstock base. So I've got one sheet of Whisper White. It's going to create both cards. And um, you can actually use the thick cardstock if you want. I'm just using the regular Whisper White. We sell both in my online store. For some reason, I just never, I just never bought the thick cardstock, but it is nice to have for card bases. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the paper trimmer here. I've got the lot, the the short side of the eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock, and I'm just sliding it into the four and a quarter mark, and boom, we are going to just cut that in half. And now we've got two card bases, one for each card. So we'll just go ahead and fold those up. And if I will. Really good demonstrator. I'd have a bone fold. Oh, I do have a bone folder handy. <laughs> you don't have to fire me just yet. Oh, thank you, Arlene. Arlene says she loves the videos. I really appreciate that. And I love having you guys here. You guys will really make it fun. Okay, so we've got two card bases. And you know what? Um, Ro Robbie's asking a really good question here. She's asking about um, the Eclipse card. We're not there yet, Robbie. We are going to make that in just a second, but I should show you the supplies that we're using. So here is, I, I meant to show you this to you as we're starting. This is um, the Night in Bethlehem stamp set that we're using on all three cards. We'll be using the star from this die um, that matches it. It's a bundle. If you purchase them together, you get 10% off. 
uh, the, the, the other samples that I'm going to be showing you will show a lot of more of these dies. I love them together. They're edgelets. They're really cool. Really cool. Now for the Eclipse card, we are using the large letters alphabet. This is actually a Bar Linda set because mine's still on order. But Linda, she's so good with organization. She actually put these on a magnet sheet so that they, they stick together and they just don't flop all over the place. It's a great way to store these large letters. So um, I am going to get to this in just a second. If you bypass this, and this is in the big annual catalog and it's in my online store, and you said, I don't need those dies. That's a really big set. What am I ever going to use those for? I'm here to show you why these are a must have. So we will do that card last. So I'm just gonna put those away for now. Okay, so starting with our card bases, actually, we just cut those, I'm gonna put those to the side. So next up, I am gonna do our big shot cutting on um, these two reversible cards. So, um, it's, uh, you know, I, I like to do all of the big shot work together and then all of the stamping together. Uh, traditionally, I like to stamp first, but I think in this particular case, I would rather cut first and then stamp second. So for these cards, I am using the big shot and the magnetic platform. You can also use the, um, the platform that comes with the big shot and the thin die adapter. They both work well, but the magnetic kind of holds your pieces in place. And I'm going to use that today. So I've got one cutting pad down. I guess we'll start with the star because I have this foil. This is actually champagne foil. This is in the holiday catalog. I love it. It's got like a little goldish pinky hue to it. It's kind of like a cross between the silver and the gold together. And from that die set, we're going to take the star. Now we're going to cut two of these, one for each card. So I'm just going to place that on there and run it through. see a lot of you have that large letter die on your wish list. Well, you definitely ask Santa for it, um, but it's also a great thing to get in the demonstrator kit because you get such a great deal on that and you get free stuff along with it. And you may want it before Christmas because you may actually want it for your Christmas card. So maybe Santa will buy you a pre-Christmas gift. <laughs> okay, so we've got our two stars cut out. We're just going to put those to the side with the card bases and keep on going. Next, I am taking these stitched shape dies. These are a staple, and mine are all over the place. Sorry. <laughs> I do that every time. Every time I'm like, oh, I'm going to organize them all so pretty. So when I open it up, you're going to see this beautiful little box of dies. And yeah, so I'm going to take the largest of the stitch shapes. And th what I love about these stitch shapes is how they have this. I'm just going to show you up close here how they have that little stitching around them that just adds such a great bit of interest to the the project. Okay, so we're going to do a piece of, I've got dapper denim here, and I'm putting that a little bit towards the top of the dapper denim, and then a cutting pad on top, same exact um, layout as we just did with the star to cut that. Now that's going to cut, it's going to cut our window and it's going to cut an oval. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Now this is the wood texture designer paper. And I'm going to do the same thing. Before I do, I'm just going to show you a little snippet of this awesome designer paper that we're using here because it, it is really cool stuff. It gives you this really cool wood grain look. It looks great on all kinds of, I use, I have so many of these. <laughs> I've gone through quite a few of these DSP packs. This is something you definitely want to stock up on, but there's light, there's dark, there's different pieces of wood in there. It's just awesome. And it's so realistic makes such a great accent. It's such an easy um, accent to work with to the designer paper. So I'm using one of the lighter patterns um, because we're going to stamp on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oops, sorry. I'm going to put a cutting pad on top and crank that through. And that's going to punch out our oval from the wood grain. So I'm just going to move this aside for now. Now I mentioned these cards are reversible and this is kind of what I meant. So I cut those two out and then, so we have no waste here. We're going to use, we're going to just swap out the ovals here. So we have two different um, card, we have two different card base. These are going to go on our bases, backgrounds. And then we have our kind of like, a, it's, it's almost like a window inside the card. 
Now I'm stamping the words from the Night in Bethlehem set in basic black. Oh, you guys like that? <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you. I see that. They're coming. <laughs> So just stamping the words, wishing you a season of joy as we remember the night when love came down to earth and became our song of celebration, which I think is beautiful. And we're going to stamp the same, I'm just stamping the same sentiment on both. And we'll just put those aside for now. We're going to work on our uh, focal pieces here, which will be our inserts. Now for these, I used the basic black, so I took the... Um, the shepherd image and then the Mary and Joseph on the donkey image. So I kind of used them both and stamped them in basic black right in the center of, well, the center of the dapper denim on the wood grain one. I took the shepherd and I put him a little bit to the right. zoom in a little bit so you guys can see there you go you see that okay all right so next up and I'm just gonna take a little bit of scrap paper and put it on the background here my scrap paper seems to be I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut this up a little bit because it's curly on one side which is a tad bit annoying I wish I, some, I, I, wish I had grid paper handy I normally work with that when I'm working on my my regular stamp table but down here in the studio. I should probably just grab a few sheets and have it here. So now I've take, I'm using the Dapper Denim ink pad and I'm taking the star, it's the little star stamp that comes in the set. And here's the, this is the one I'm using for this. And I'm gonna stamp kind of the night sky all around our figures, our silhouette figures on the the dapper denim. I didn't go underneath them because that would kind of look weird. It's supposed to be the night sky behind them. <laughs> and then I went a little bit, not um, color wise lighter, but not quite as, as heavy on the, um, on the stamp there with the, our shepherd. So they're kind of around there on the, on the wood grain. And then we have all of our pieces cut out and we are going to assemble. We've got stars for everybody. We've got words stamped on everybody. And we've got our card bases cut. Do you see how quick and easy this this is? I love it. I absolutely love it. And the, and the next card we're going to do is just as quick and easy. Okay. So I'm going to take snail adhesive to attach this. And again, all of the measurements and the supplies that I'm using right here are um, listed on that free PDF, which are on my stampatami.com blog. And you can get to that from the link in this video's description. Okay. And then snail on the back of the, the wood grain panel. And the beautiful thing about layering on Whisper White is that you can stamp or write your greeting on the inside of the card. And you don't have to layer anything on inside there. If I work with dark colors, I like to layer something on the inside just so you can see the writing. And then I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals. For the back of oh you know what I did that backwards oh shucks should I take them apart and do them the way I did them originally yeah let's do that okay so instead of instead of snail on the back of this piece <laughs> come on you guys have done this before right <laughs> you know you have oh my gosh smiley faces for anybody who has done this before who has done a card the wrong you know put the wrong adhesive on in the wrong at the wrong time it's all right we can fix just about anything just peel it off gently if the thing about snail is if you get it quick usually you can get it off without too much damage once it sets it seems to be a little bit harder to get off okay okay so I get these, these are Stampin' Dimensionals that I'm using here. I, I loved the way it kind of made a little window into our, um, our ovals here, our stitched ovals. <laughs> I see all kinds of smiley faces just went by. So I am not the only one that's ever done that. <laughs> that's good. I'm glad to hear that. 
So um, I'm just using, these are actually left over from a paper pumpkin kit, my Stampin' Dimensionals. One great thing about those paper, pumpkin, paper pumpkins is that, you know, you always get extra pieces and they always come in handy. So save all those extra pieces. Okay, so I'm just peeling off the protective backing on those and then we will stick that down on our cart, our, our card base. Didn't need to stick that into the snail that I already had there. Huff on it, dear funny Cheryl. Okay, so here we go. And we've got all of our protective backing off and we're gonna stick that on our Whisper White card, our second Whisper White card base. Oops. And I didn't stick that on awesomely straight. So let's see if I can gently peel that up. Let's see how forgiving these dimensionals are. <laughs> oh, good times. Let's see how much I can lift up this piece of designer paper and reposition it with different adhesive. <laughs> uh, that worked. Okay. We did it. Yay. Okay. So snail adhesive on the back of the ovals. So dimensionals on the back of them, which is backwards from what my brain thinks it should be, which is why I did it wrong. Okay, so the dapper denim is going to go inside. So it's going to create like a little peekaboo window almost. So our wood our wood grain is going to pop up there. Our wood grain around the edge is going to pop up there. It's a really neat effect. A very, very quick and easy card. Very quick and easy window there. I'll put them up close so you can see that. So awesome. And like I said, reversible, right? So we've used, we have no waste here. We've used everything. And then a dimensional on the back of these stars. They, they, they're cut from the champagne foil. And we'll just stick those in the upper left. And these two cards are complete. Now, one other thing I like to do on the dapper denim, if you wanted to just kind of jazz it up just a little bit, is take your Stampin' Sponge and sponge the edges. I'd probably do this before I attached it, you know, if I was smart enough to remember that step. <laughs> but, you know, I'm stif clearly I'm still on a tryptophan, uh, you know, high from yesterday's turkey. <laughs> you know, you eat all that turkey, you fall asleep. Oh, but it's so good and so worth it. See, it just adds a little pow if you put a little bit of a, a little, little stamp and sponge on that one. Okay. No Black Friday shopping for you, huh, Jennifer? Okay. So for, I, some of you are, some of you may actually be waiting in line right now. Some of you may actually be Black Friday shopping, <laughs> hanging out, waiting for your turn to go into the store to get that great deal at the Best Buy. Who's getting new TVs for Christmas this year? I'm not, but I know my uncle was going Black Friday shopping for Best Buy's his place. He always ends up with all kinds of crazy deals. And he like he's one of those. He's one of some of you are out there. You like this, right? He's up there first thing in the morning. Like and when I say first thing in the morning, I mean like 2.30. Waiting in line. <laughs> okay, so these are our reversible cards. And next, we are going to do the Eclipse card. This is such a cool technique. And it's shockingly easy to do. I, I absolutely love it. Now, um, just in case you missed this, this is from uh, Dolores, and I want to make sure I'm saying her name right, it's Schlabach. Dolores Schlabach made this um, swap card that I got at OnStage when I um, originally got this idea. And I, then I, I, wanted to make a, I wanted to make a matching set, so we did everything in dapper denim, and it was beautiful. But her original card was in Night of Navy, which was also beautiful. Again, these measurements are on that free PDF. So right now I'm taking dapper denim ink. We've got Smoky Slate and Crushed Curry. So in the Dapper Denim, nope, in the Smoky Slate, we're going to stamp the buildings. <laughs> okay, almost, almost did those in blue. So they're going to be our background. Now, um, our little figures here, they're still black from when we did the first two cards. So before we go ahead and stamp those, let's clean them. 
Yeah. Are you guys? Do you guys have a stamp and scrub? Mine is so. My, I've been stamping for fourteen years. I think this particular stamp and scrub, and I have four or five of them. But I think this is like my very first one that I ever got. They have a really a, even a better design now. They're slightly different, but they never go. I mean, it seems like they they last forever. So I just sprayed one side with some Stampin' Mist, and I'm just gonna rub it in the wet side, rub it in the dry side, and it's clean. And it's ready to rock and roll in our new color. Cheapest washer and dryer you will ever own. Right there, Stampin' Scrub. I'll just dry those off real quick. And now we're gonna stamp these in Dapper Denim. Okay. So, we've got our little Mary and Joseph on the donkey and in this particular card the shepherd is guiding them so he's right over here together with them on this card and then the last thing we're going to do and you could actually do the the foil the the foil star here if you would like to if you did that i would do it after but i'm going to do the star in crushed curry this time so i'm going to use the stamped one instead of the die that i used on the other two cards and we're going to stamp that but they actually the um the die cuts this out as well so um, you may see that on some of the samples that I have to show you after this okay so that's all the stamping we have <laughs> that ends our stamped portion of this now for the amazing amazing super cool part bringing that big shot back in we've got the same magnetic platform just gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better same magnetic platform on here We've got one cutting pad on top and the stamped panel that we just did. Now I'm taking the letters J, O, and Y from that large letter alphabet set. If you guys are not familiar with this, it is awesome. Let me just show it to you real quick, um, especially if you, you, you didn't catch it earlier. This is amazing. It's a full set of alphabets. Everybody's putting it on their wish list. If you haven't, if you haven't done an eclipse card, you are definitely going to want to make one now. They're awesome, and that is in my online store. So J O and Y, we're gonna line them up right over what we just stamped. I really love um, the eclipse cards, kind of like plain. You know, sometimes they're really busy and they're beautiful, but I love the the white space on this one. It really adds a, a huge amount of interest to your your focal point. So one cutting pad on top and crank that through the big shot. It's supposed to make that noise, by the way. If you're new and you just got a big shot or you, you just, for well, the first time ever used one and you heard all that snap, crackle, pop, that's normal and it is supposed to do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna put our pieces down here. It has punched the joy. It's taken the joy right out of our card, but not for long. Oops, hold on, that one's stuck, there we go. Don't worry, not for long. We're gonna bring that joy right back to our card. <laughs> All right, and then these just, they literally just peel right out. And move that out of the way. All right, coming back in. I'm zooming in a little bit so you can see what's happening here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use that snail adhesive to attach our main panel to a dapper denim card base, which is half of an eight and a half by 11 cut exactly the same as we cut the two white card bases at the beginning. And if you are tuning in late and didn't see that, you can catch it on the replay as soon as this video, as soon as our live is done, the replay on Facebook will be up and about an hour later, it'll be up on YouTube. Okay, so I'm gonna place that in, on the front. Now, in order to get this middle piece to line up, I have no adhesive on this O yet. I am going to put it on in a second. Um, but I'm going to take this middle piece of the O, put a little bit of snail adhesive on it. I just put the O back in there to line up the center. And then I'm going to peel that O right back out. So the O, you don't want adhesive on when you're lining up. So now everything lines up perfectly. Now here's the magic. I'm taking... These are um, foam adhesive strips that are in my online store. And I'm going to flip these letters over. Now, it's really important that you flip them over, that you do not put the adhesive on the stamped side. I will show you why. <laughs> Literally, 
I'll show you why. I One of my samples, I accidentally wasn't paying attention and put it on the wrong side of the Y. And now I have, you know, a silly looking eclipse card. So that's why. Get it? But I'm bump. Why? You want, you want to make sure you flip it over. See, I almost did it again. I was talking. I wasn't paying attention. And there it is. So these little guys, they just peel right off. These are the bomb.com. They're also good for shaker cards. So it's, it's sticky on the bottom, and there's right now a protective backing on the top, which I'll peel off before we stick down. So I'm going to stick, and I'm just going on the long side of the letters here. It's a little bit bendable here, so you can position it, which is very convenient. And we're just going to attach it to all of the letters. Going to Y, putting it on the right side. Boom. Now we are, all we got to do is peel off this protective backing and we are ready to assemble. So it's that easy. If you can believe it, it really is that easy. It's crazy, right? So that just sticks right down there. When you have the right tools, things just are, they, they, they go so quick and easy and they look like they, I mean, when people see this card, they are going to think that you spent so much time on it. Did I really just cut that? Oh, what a dork. <laughs> when I was cutting it, be careful not to do this. When you are cutting your adhesive and cut your, your letter. Maybe you want to, you can actually cut the adhesive before you put it down, but that's all right. No one is going to know. We're going to put it right on there. It's no one's, It's going to be my little secret. Listen, one of you is going to win one of these prizes. I'm going to send you this card and you're going to be looking to see if I sent you the, the one that I just cut that O on. You're going to be like, I got the magic card that she made on, <laughs> that she screwed up on. And the rest of you will not know that I probably screwed up on every card. You just won't know where it is. <laughs> and that's it. That is the secret to the eclipse card. How awesome is that, right? It's these letters. They're so awesome. So very cool. Now, every card needs a little bling. Our first two cards in the set, the, the bling was the um, the star at the top. The, the This is our little bling on the first two cards. So our bling on this card is going to be some rhinestones. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. Hearts are flowing like crazy. You guys are awesome. I love you, love you, love you. Okay, so I'm just going to put three of these down there, peel and stick. So really quick and easy on this one, too. And don't forget that big online sale is happening right now, too. So if you're on there ordering stuff, you may as well may as well get those large letter dies while you're on it. And, you know, just tell Santa to put them in your stocking. <laughs> and this card is complete. So now we have our complete set. Our complete set of cards here. We have our two reversible cards and our Eclipse card. And that, I mean... Seriously, how quickly did those go together? That was amazing, right? Super, super quick and easy. So, and perfect, right? Because, again, we're all starting to realize that Christmas is coming. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's like, oh, my gosh, it's Black Friday already. Holy cow, i got to get those Christmas cards. i got to think about what I'm going to do for my Christmas cards. So, uh, oh, thanks for the hearts, you guys. You're awesome. And these are great for mass producing. Jamie was just saying they're great for that. And, and the two reversible cards here, no waste. No waste here because you've got both the, um, you know, you've got the, the insert, you know, when you cut out the, the oval, you just swap them out there. It's beautiful. And then this one, again, the same with the, um, when you cut out the letters. All right. So I promised you when I was done, we have some, um, some more samples to show here. This is just such an awesome, awesome stamp. So this is all from the Night in Bethlehem stamp set and the, um, the, the, the coordinating dies. Now, this was Veronica's original card that she made um, that I worked off of to do the reversible card. And she used one of the different patterns from the wood textures. And it just goes to show that you can use almost all of them. And um, <laughs> Sarah's asking, seriously, who has time to make these for all these family? I do. <laughs> I think a lot of us out there do, actually. It's something we love to do. In fact, that's why I like to do these quick and easy ones. Because if you have a large list, like mine is like 120 people... And I normally like to get started before Thanksgiving so that, you know, I'm kind of working on them a little bit at a time. And we do the assembly line, cut all at once, stamp all at once, and sometimes the kids help out, and it's kind of fun. Um, but I haven't started mine yet, so 
I am confessing. That's my confession right now. Have not started my. I haven't even thought about what design I want yet. Not even sure if I've designed it yet. <laughs> there you go. But they will be stamped because I love them and I love making them. So here's another one from the same stamp set. Now this one here, it's silver foil on the front there. The dies, see the edgelet dies from that same bundle. And she um, embossed the Rejoicing in Christ words there in iridescent ice. See how beautiful that is? Awesome. And the same stars on the background here. Okay. And here is another one. This one I have featured on my blog. And all of these samples, I, I do have pictures of them on my blog as well. So if you click on over to the link in this video's description, you'll see them. And this here uses the glitter dots. I'm going to hold them up close so you can see the glitter dots up here on top. How cool is that? This is another one Veronica designed using the edgelets on the background. Now here is the same edgelets, and they are um, cut from the champagne that we cut the star out of. The star is cut from some silver glimmer paper. Just going to give it a little light so you can see that. And can you see the sparkle in the background too, the metallic background snowflakes? That's from the Year of Cheer. And then the words are embossed in um, silver for that one. Okay, Mary, um, you can go back uh, and catch the replay of this. She's asking if the joy die is in the catalog. If you go back and watch the replay on this, you will actually see it's actually a set of uh, large letter alphabets. They're also featured on my blog if you click on the link in the video's description. So this here is, um, again, that Mary and Joseph stamp, the, the background stamped here. This one's a really quick and easy one. If you're really looking for quick and easy for a big, large list, this is a great design for you. And it's uh, kind of monochromatic because it's got soft suede on soft suede. And that one kind of goes together nicely. Okay. And then we've got this one. Now the background here is sponged in two different colors on glossy. See that glossy sheen in the background? And the star is cut, and then it's got a little, I'm going to hold it up so you can see, it's got a little Wink of Stella. Awesome, right? Wink of Stella glimmer pen on that one. And then the um, edgelets, the city edgelets are cut from white. And this last one that I have to show you is a, a, an online class that we had done about a month ago, maybe, we did this. You can go back and catch the video for this one. I also have the video replay of this one on my blog post at the link above um, with a link to the free PDF for it as well if you missed it. Um, but just another awesome design. This is kind of another cutout window card with the city in the background. It's just a really fun, easy card. Another easy one. Another card that looks like it's more complicated than it actually is. So that's a, another really cool use for that card. All right. So um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the three cards that we made today. Again, free PDF on the blog and, and the alternate samples using that same bundle. It's an amazing bundle. Some great ideas there. If you're still looking for ideas for your holiday cards, there's still plenty of time, plenty of time. I've still got more ideas coming. Um, and uh, they're just a great, a great set. And if you are catching the replay on this, I have um, a giveaway that will be um, done on December 8th. So you can still win that bundle that we use today, even if you don't win one of the lives that I'm about to draw right now. So uh, without further delay, I have some giveaways and I have four. I'm going to give away um, three unclaimed prizes, a couple of rare stamp sets here, and then I'm going to give away this, this bundle to one lucky winner. And all you need to do to enter is have left a comment here or leave a comment here. So good luck to everybody. Let's pop on over to our giveaway site here. And I'm just going to refresh this so that it has the right post. I want to make sure that we have the right post that we're drawing the winner on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 571 comments. Good luck to everybody. The first thing I'm going to give away here is the, the mini bows. So these are super adorable. They're little peel and stick mini bows for your packages. Um, and for and for your cards, actually, I've, I've got a few cards on my blog that use these and they're super adorable and your 3D projects. And the winner of that is Kathy McKenzie. Congratulations, Kathy. The next giveaway we have is for um, the Seasons of Whimsy stamp set. So this is a hostess stamp set in the holiday catalog. It's a fun one. This is an unclaimed prize as well. So be sure to fill out the prize claim form if you are one of the lucky winners. And that one goes to Debbie Shaw. I hope I said that right. Shoo, 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 Shaw. 
S H U H. Congratulations, Debbie from Oklahoma. Next giveaway we have is for the Mary Patterns. This one extremely rare, no longer available, was only available for a couple months. Adorable stamp set, great for the holidays. And the winner of that one is Arlene Mantle Was Dunham. Can I just say I love that? That's hilarious. That's awesome. So, yep, she's married now. She's Dunham. She's no longer Mantle. And. <laughs> She has just won the Mary Pattern stamp set. Congratulations, Arlene. And uh, our last winner has the bundle, the full bundle here. Stamp set and the dies that we just used on, on these cards that we just created for this online class. And the winner for those are Sherry Fur. Congratulations, Sherry. So congratulations to all. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form, and I will get those right out to you. Don't forget, December 8th, I have one more giveaway, um, and that is the same bundle that we just used. Leave a comment, and if you share this video and type the word shared into my comments after you share it, you will be entered a second time into the drawing. Last reminder, don't forget, online extravaganza sale happening in my online sale and Sunday, or when supplies sell out. So that's they actually could go sooner than Sunday. The good stuff might be gone. Don't wait. And Monday, there will be um, an, a, a different online sale. Um, as soon as that one ends, another one's starting, but it's only for 24 hours. And as soon as I get the deets on that, I will post them on here on Facebook and on my blog. So stay tuned to both for that. And we will see you back here Tuesday for the Stampin' Scoop with Linda. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me.